I want you guys to remember this man. And before I start this video, I, I hope you guys like the lighting in this video. Because we made some changes, as I mentioned in the last video. It should be better than ever. I'm 100% I'm positive it is. Made some adjustments and things are going to get good. Things are going to get really interesting, bro. I can't wait. Everything I've ever thought, everything I've ever imagined is going to come to pass. We are going to do what we're going to do. We were put here for a reason. We do the things we do for a reason, bro. And it's going to be nothing short of amazing. Incredible. But let's get into this topic. And that's just one of many things that is going to come. I can't wait for the future, bro. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't say it enough. I cannot wait for the future. I can't wait to do what I do, bro. Because I do what I do, bro. And I can't wait. So, guys. I want you guys to remember this. Just know that even when you do the right things in life. It's not going to, you know, things won't go the way you think it will go. People won't appreciate you the way you probably should be mm, treated and respected. It ain't going to happen. The world is backwards, bro. It really, truly is backwards. The more good things you do, the better example that you set, the more hate you're going to get. It should not be this way, but it is. And learning to deal with this over time is a must. You have to know how to deal with things like that. Become a master at dealing with things like that. Because as sad as it is, a lot of people, bro, that you don't want to turn on you. There's going to be a lot of people that you don't want them to turn on you. Will. And it's something you just have to deal with. It's something you have to get better with. We don't want those things to happen. We're not going to sit here and lie and be like, oh, I don't care. We can't care about deep down. It's, it's like we don't want it to happen, so we do care a little bit at least. It shouldn't happen, but it will, and it does. When you do the right things in light, bro, things are going to happen. Things that's going to hurt your soul at first is going to happen. There's times I went through, bro, I couldn't believe what was happening. I couldn't believe the people that was turning on me. I could not believe life was like that. I couldn't believe it. I deserved all the credit, all the respect in the world for doing the work that I've done, for doing what I did. And it was the complete opposite. And that's because the world is backwards. You're going to realize how unloving the world genuinely is. And it's because most people give up on themselves. So when you don't give up on yourself and you live life to the fullest, you reach goals, you reach your potential. You're not afraid to climb Mount Everest. A lot of these people ain't going to show you no love, bro. They're going to go cold towards you. That's why, like in my last video I was mentioning, because of this, we have to show no mercy. People do all kinds of things, bro, to try to get in your head. People close to you will turn on you just to try to get in your head. And you can't let it happen. You have to keep going the way you're going. You have to keep doing the right things in life. Because a lot of the time, you will do the right things in life, and people close to you will turn on you. 
they can't help it. They're that jealous, they're that envious, they're that mad, they're that bitter. Simply because you got more heart than them, you get the heart of a lion. And these people, bro, are gonna turn cold. And it's all a game. It's all a tactic to try to gain control over you. People we once would have died for, people we once loved dearly, will do that kind of shit. And we just gotta keep going in life, bro. We can't, you know, I've learned to deal with that stuff very, very well. There's people right now that I'm cool with that I could, I, I see ways that they will turn. And I'm ready for it. I'm mentally ready for everything. Anybody could turn on me in the world and I and I can be surprised. I was already surprised too many times in the, in the, in the far past. I'm to a point now where it's like another hater. Someone I'm cool with right now turns on me, okay? Another hater. And you know why they're a hater for turning on me? Because I ain't doing nothing to nobody. I'm not doing nothing to nobody in particular. But just because of the way you move in life, just because of the things you do, because of who you become, because of all the work you put in, people will turn. And that's the truth. <clears throat> Real ones will never turn. Never. But some people, bro, they just can't help it. I, you know what? There probably would be at least maybe maybe a handful of people that if they did actually turn on me, I might be a bit surprised because I am close with, with, with some people right now. And the conversations we've already had, they know they know who I am, they know what I do, they know how I move. And they see the potential in me as I see in myself. And it's like, we've already had conversations. We've already had conversations of so many things. They know what to expect. They know they know the, the path I'm on. They know the road I'm on. They, they know who I am. They know what I'm about. They respect it. So those people, those few people, a lot of you respect me too. But I'm saying in real life, people I know where I come from, stuff like that. I would be surprised if maybe a few of them, maybe maybe just a few. Other than that, I ain't gonna be surprised. I ain't gonna be surprised. Because it's already happened too many times. And I know what people are like. When you start to become a person that people did not think you were gonna become and you do, and you do become that person, people will hate. People will find a reason to hate. Low key bro, people's been waiting to turn on you but they just want a reason to do it. They just don't like you. Because you become who you become. There's people in the past world that try to damn near t traumatize me, damn near worked. People just treat you unfairly. People are just cruel. I don't know how people can find themselves doing that to others. I just don't understand. Like, it blows my mind how people will literally go out of their way to do bad things to you and these people are spineless cowards these people are filled with hate they're losers absolute clowns and I just won't be surprised you know whatever happens happens we are who we are, bro. We go after the things we go after in life. We do what is in our heart of hearts to do. And not everybody is going to like that. Because they ain't doing it themselves. Most people don't do that. Most people don't live and move that way. Most people just do enough. Just do enough. Just do enough. And their standard is for everybody around them. Please don't outdo me. Please don't overdo me. Please don't become successful to make me look bad. What kind of BS is that, bro? Loser. And you know what? You can be average all you want, but don't shit on me. Whenever I have different things in my heart and in my mind and in my soul that I want to do. I can respect anybody, bro. I can respect anybody. I had some of the deepest conversations with people that was even below average. 
but they had a good mind, a good soul, a good heart, and they were older. <clears throat> so it all comes down to your mindset, your empathy, your ability to be a real person, your ability to just not be a hater, a degenerate. Those people project nothing but bad energy, bro. Like, it doesn't matter what you do. They'll find a way to try to, to hurt you, to do something that's going to shake you. People have done it to me in the past, and I was more younger, a bit more naive. I was never completely naive, but some people were good, bro. Some people were good. Like, very crafty, very manipulative. Very, very, very. There's not many people that got me good, but there's one or two that got me good it felt real it literally felt real that's how good they were I don't understand that like it's wild they're not even sharks in the water bro they're damn alligators in the water there's something else bro there's people that are very dangerous man in this world you have to be very careful and these people are filled with hate. They want to take you out. They want to, to put darkness into your life. They want to stop you. They want you to dig your own grave. They want you to they want to put you six feet under. That's how cruel some people are in this world. And it's up to you to recognize them and stay away from that kind of stuff. But like I said, man, when a lot of your haters in the world see what you do and who you become. There's going to be a very few people who respect and appreciate it. Who you actually know. You're, you'd be lucky to have a few. Other than that, bro, most people's going to turn on you. Most people's going <clears> to... <throat> turn completely. To try to get in your head. And they're all going to regret it, bro. At least most of them. Most of these people will regret it. Because you're not even going to look their way. They're, they're, there's going to be a point in time, bro. They want to be invited to that pool party that you throw. That chill vibe. All the good times you will create in the future. There's going to be a lot of people that's going to want to be a part of that. And you're not going to invite them. They're going to be left out to dry. They left you at the dry. They turned their backs <sighs> like nothing. They had no empathy for you at all. Oh, I can't stand this guy. Turn your back. Screw you, bro. That's, that's how you treat me, right? Why? Because my success, my growth, my progress hurts you and your feelings? Oh, my God. Terrible. Never heard nothing like it in my life. Oh my God, just terrible. Can't believe it. These people are spawnless cowards, bro. They want to act some way and like they know something or they're good. Bro, you suck. Sorry, you suck. And it's the truth. Sorry, sorry again for telling the truth. Sorry. But it's the truth. I can't say nothing but the truth. People don't want to live by it. I live by it because I can take it. And the truth is people turn their backs because they are spineless cowards. One thing you could say that's the truth that's going to hurt someone's eardrums, they'll turn their back because they can't handle it. They can't not take the truth. And all these people, bro, that decide to do what they do, to turn against you, to not respect you. You deserve respect. You deserve respect. If they don't want to do that, they want to play these little games, they want to act some kind of way, they want to be envious, they want to be jealous, they want to be bitter, they want to be hateful, they're going to regret it. And if they don't regret it, they're going to live bum lives. And that's just the way it is, bro. Haters never win. Winners never hate. That's the way it is. That's the motto. And when they see what you do, bro, they're going to be shook. 
lot of people that turned their backs. They didn't want to keep in contact. They didn't want to keep a good connection. They didn't want to, you know, be that person towards you. Just because of the things you've done in life, because of the things and the choices you've made, which were good. Like I said, the world is backwards. You do the right things and, it, and it's deemed bad. You do the right things and you self-improve and you focus. Oh my God, you're trying to hard. Oh my God, you're making us uncomfortable. You're all bums. You're all bums. I'm trying too hard. Doing too much, bettering my life, feeling better, feeling healthier, feeling wealthier. Sorry. Sorry that hurts you, bro. Sorry. That's the biggest pussy shit I've ever heard in my life, but But they were never your friends. And they reveal that. The reason I even have to say the things I say, because I know it's the truth. And I can hold it, I ain't gonna hold back on it. We're not gonna let them walk on us. They're not we're not gonna let them deem us as bad people, because that's the picture some people want to paint of you, bro. As if you're some bad person for choosing to for choosing to dare to be great for choosing to reach your potential for choosing health and wealth over degeneracy they want to paint you in a bad light please don't try please be like us please don't make us feel uncomfortable if you do that we're going to turn on you we don't like you we don't like that you're doing that how stupid does that really sound, bro? But they don't want to—they don't want to explain it like this because they can't. They can't explain it the way it actually is, because it makes them sound like a loser. Because they are. They are. <laughs> There's no other way of saying it. Losing is a choice, and they choose to lose. You choose to win. You were born to win. You got it. You got that it factor. And the fact they know you have it, they're gonna throw shade. And like I said, wait till they see what you do. Losing is a choice. Someone's watching this video, you might not be where you wanna be in life. You're not a loser right now, bruh. You're only a loser if you choose to take a back seat. Oh my God, I'm not gonna do nothing. You got a long way to go, man. You got a long way to go. And you will get there if you just keep believing, if you just keep pushing, if you just keep going. You will get there. There's many things in life right now that I feel that I've won at. But it never stops. Like, I'm going to win forever, bro, as long as I'm alive. That's my plan, is to win forever. 60, 70, 80 years old, still on a treadmill, still getting after it, still going keeping myself healthy why would I rest when I don't need a rest and I'm not talking about not sleeping but people they don't want to do enough you ha you have to choose to win a light bro you have to choose to be the enthusiastic more intelligent more stronger more capable, more enduring individual of yourself that is inside of you because everyone has that in them. Everyone has that dog in them. If you look at dogs and animals and stuff, they want to be playful, they want to be energetic because they're alive right now, bro. They want to get up and get after it every day because they're full of energy and they want to win in life. They don't want to sit down and with some drunk owner, here's your bone, and he, he's just sitting there not playing with the dog or the dog just starts to get sleepy and stuff bro you want to get up and get after it when you're living your life you only lose if you choose to lose that's why i'm making this point because i don't want people to think in this video right now that i'm calling everybody a loser if you're not where you want to be in life right now because it's not the truth you have to feel like you're winning every day even when you're not that's the whole point it's about energy bro it's about energy Bring the best out of yourself. Do something that is going to put you up. Do something that's going to make you feel better. Start going to the gym consistently every single day. You know what? You go to the gym every day. Your body's going to start to get tired. T 
keep refeeding yourself, keep keep dumping healthy food in yourself, bro. Keep eating, keep drinking your water, keep doing the things you're supposed to be doing, and just keep showing up. Just make yourself. You will be happy because you will become lively, energetic. When you start to get little wins, you'll start to get bigger wins. Small wins add up to bigger wins. And when you're the one that can do this, when you're the one that has the toughness, the will to win in life, your haters are going to be pissed, bruh. Because most people just do, do not choose that way of life. They just want to hate. They want to be in bad, low, toxic energy all the time and just not do the things they should be doing. But you have to. Do things that's going to make you more attractive. If you, if you look better, you will feel better. Go to the gym. Get a tan. Do something nice. Go to a steam room. Go to a sauna. Go to a hot tub. Go for a swim in a pool or at a beach. Go for a bike ride. Go for a hike. Chop some trees down in the woods. Go for a walk. Go to the gym. Play a sport. Do something that's going to better your health, better your life. And when you're that guy or girl, you will get a lot of hate if you get on the right track, if you get on the right train, because positive momentum in the world, whether you're creating it or anyone else is creating it, whoever is creating positive momentum in life is going to get hated on because there's so many dogs Just schmucks in the world that's going to keep watching what you're doing to try to put their toxicity on you to drag you down. We're going to keep that positivity going, bro. We're keeping the wheel going. They, they hate it. They hate that we're going, bro. They hate that we're in forward motion, but we're doing it. We're getting after it. We are doing it regardless. Those are the people you don't want to be surrounded by. Those are the people you don't want to talk to. Those are the people you don't want to deal with. You want to stay who you are. You want to reach your potential. You want to get around other energetic, positive, self-believing people. Those are the only people you want to get around, bro. Who want to live life to the fullest. And not just choose to, to lose. Always choose to win, bro. Even if you're not winning right now, just choose to win every day. Bring that out of yourself. Create that positive momentum in your life and good things will happen. I promise. And with that being said, God willing, God bless. I'll see you at the top.